All right, now we're going to go into saving. So in order to save a file, whenever we start Ableton, it usually starts with a untitled track. So I just go to save live set and we'll just do save live set as. Um, and this is where we can choose where to save it. So usually I would just uh, save the files to the desktop or if you have your own file folder, that would be a great place to save it. And then what's nice is that once you have saved this, um, I'm not gonna save it again, but uh, once you've saved it, then when you go into Ableton Live, you'll see uh, the open recent sets and that one will come up first. So it's very easy to find your files. So that is how you save.